Hi everyone, this will be a tutorial on how I make those multi-cursor speed paint videos. It's not an overly complicated process, but it is pretty specific to the way I colour artwork, so please keep that in mind while watching this. You might have to find workarounds for certain things or change up your process if you'd like to make these yourself. But I've switched accounts now so the, the comments have been deleted, but I never gave anyone a proper answer on how to actually do these. I just sort of said, you know, oh, Adobe After Effects, and that's about it. So I did want to sort of show how it's done. So I'll be using this artwork here. I haven't, of course, done it yet. I'm about to record and then I'll skip forward in the video where it's all colored and I can show you. It's just line art on a paper texture and then I will be constantly darkening the image and recording each section that I color in separate parts, which I will show in a minute. There are kind of two conditions to the creation of this. You can't move the canvas at all, don't zoom in or out, and don't pan or you know adjust anything like that because that will mess up the recordings because you then overlay all of the different recordings and then assemble them in a program such as Adobe After Effects. That's what I will be using, I don't know if you can do it in other programs, you probably can, but I'm not proficient in those, so I will only be using what I know how to do, you know, <laughs> I'll be showing my process. So um, I hope this is useful, and if you're interested in making these yourself. Hopefully this will show you how to do it. Feel free to show me. I would actually be really interested to see people's results and how they change up this process for themselves. So yeah. Okay, so I just got done recording the first batch of layers to be overlaid. I don't know how to say that right. But basically for every cursor that will appear on the screen, I've got a separate recording that I will overlay and they all start with just the paper and then one recording as I will show in After Effects once this is all done. One recording will do all of this and then it will be hidden and the recording will do all of this and this and then I will add them on top of each other and then it will look as if there are multiple cursors painting all of this in and that I'll probably be able to show it a little bit better once we're actually in After Effects but I have to record all of it first. It doesn't have to be separate colours, I just like to organise it that way because it's easier on my brain <laughs> to do it in a way that makes some sense to me. For when it comes to the, the shading, same process. It will be the same thing of just um, shading it all in. Um, I'll probably do a separate recording for the head, a separate recording, because all of the, they have to be hidden, they can't be shown together as they're being recorded, so it doesn't make sense to try and colour the same thing multiple times over, otherwise, I mean, it, it, it doesn't hurt the recording too much because they will just be overlaid and it looks as if it's the same thing, but just for ease of creation. So I've got everything recorded now and I'm just about to jump into After Effects, but I just wanted to show here that there is one point in my process where I do actually lighten things up. It, it can be done that way too but it's one or the other. You can't do both at the same time from what I understand, or at least the way I do it. As you can see here, it's all grouped together, the overlay adjustments and touches and stuff, and I've also got a recording here that I'll be throwing in at the very end. I will show this much better in After Effects and sort of how it's all grouped together, which I'll be jumping into now. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. I've finished the speed paint up and recorded all of the different parts, and I've thrown into After Effects the different flat recordings, so this is just a pre comp with two where I accidentally messed up a little bit and had to, I forgot to erase out. But as you can see they're just um, recordings that go through and colour each part. Um, and the way to make the recordings like a multi-cursor type thing is to then set all of the different layers to Anima Darken, or I think I think you can select it like this. <laughs> Shows my expertise. Um, Lenny mode, darken. Like that, there we go. And then they all have to be sped up to the same time, which is how you go about making a normal speed paint. And that is by going to layer, time, enable time remapping. And it will put these two points down, and then all you do is click on them and drag them like so and then it speeds it up. So if I make them all end here, let's say. Usually I take the shortest recording. Actually, no, at a minute 30, that's probably a bit too long <laughs> looking at it. Let's go to, let's make all these 30 seconds. Like this. I think I'm gonna have to move this one back. 
because it's an actual composition. And then all of these just drag and shorten them. And now I will skip ahead to the finished result of the speed paint once I finish assembling all of this to show how it's all put together. Okay, so I lied, I'm not skipping ahead right away. Instead, I decided to add in a speed paint of me working on the speed paint. <laughs> Just to completely 100% show my process in case I have any more questions or if I didn't quite explain how to do things adequately. As you can see, I just kind of go through, as I explained with the first uh, batch of recordings, just layering them all on top of each other and then speeding them all up to make the actual speed paint. <laughs> I didn't record everything perfectly. It's funny, I actually made both mistakes that I warned against in the beginning of this tutorial. I did end up accidentally shifting the canvas ever so slightly, and I also ended up, uh, what was it, zooming in and a little bit and I had to fix that up towards the very, very end, I think. It actually stayed in the speed paint and for a very short section, the line art is uh, sort of... It, it, it appears as if like there's double the line out there, so <laughs> go me, <laughs> making a tutorial and, and you know, it's, it, do as I say, not as I do, definitely. I think this goes on until 8 minutes 30 in the video, so I haven't really got a whole lot more to say, I'm just gonna let the music play, but I'm just showing the entirety of my process and if you've got the general idea and you don't need to watch this, feel free to skip ahead. As you can see, I've gone through and assembled the speed paint. Hopefully this gets across the point more visually that the speed paint is done in sort of groups and layers and then all overlaid on top of each other. There are a couple of points in the speed paint where I've had to do things just with one cursor. The adjustment uh, of the skin and then the, I do this thing where I inverse the shadow color and all of that and layer it on top. So those points there aren't multi-cursor, and there's also a point here where I think, I forget exactly what I did here, but um, this doesn't fit into either of the other two. I think it's sort of a, oh, I, I tweaked it and I need to, um, oh wait, was it supposed to, whoopsie, okay, never mind. <laughs> I shortened it to the wrong area. This, um, oh, well, actually the composition itself is a good example of, where I've had to record things in two parts and then put them together to form one cursor in the speed paint final version. So I've gone through and done all of that. There is one thing I still have to do. As you can see, the cursors are all over the place in the screen. I, in some places, it's not too bad. The parts that I don't like, um, mm, actually, no, to better hide it, I quite like to um, go through and I will just select the very bottom layer here and create a mask 
and that mask over here, like this. The multi cursor will only appear within this area now. So if I then take this mask and I'm just gonna make sure I've selected it, I'm gonna paste it to all of these except one of them, and then it will do this. So let's leave that one out. Paste, paste. Here and remove this one, you'll see as well. And there we go, nice and clean. So, as you can see, it just appears, it looks like there's multiple cursors here, but it isn't all messed up here, and you can't immediately tell that the footage is overlaid. Oh, one thing I do have to mention there is one section, as I mentioned earlier. Um, where I do lighten the picture, and for those it's exactly the same process of layering them on top of each other, but instead of using the darken mode, you just use the lighten instead, and that's the only difference. Um, that's about it, I will render this out now, and there'll be a link in the description to the finished version of this speed paint. Thank you for watching, and I hope this was informative enough to where you can now make your own multi-cursor speed paints if this is something you're interested in. It's a bit strange, but I certainly have fun doing them. <laughs>